morning, y'all. Uh, as you can see by my face, this is a real good morning because, yeah. Oh, all right, I got two hours of sleep. Oh, man, I'm so tired. Um, I have my D&D session in like three minutes, so yeah, I'm just going to put myself together real quick and then do that. And yeah, I get my day started and then after I do all these like activities, I'm gonna pass out again probably because I'm so tired. We'll see, I don't know, there's probably gonna be a little adrenaline rush, so maybe I won't pass out afterwards, but yeah, maybe just stay up and then sleep early tonight. Yeah, we'll see what happens. So, cool. All right, yeah, I got the session in a little bit, so. Um, yeah, like literally in a couple minutes, so. All right, peace y'all. Yo, um, yo, just had an intense D&D session. My like heart rate was up. God, there, there were so many clutch moments in that session, like crazy. Um, yeah, I cannot, my like, woo. Um, yeah, there is a moment where like two people got one shot killed, um, like, or one shot, one shot knocked down, knocked out, like, real, like, in the first two attacks of like, this Wraith enemy, and that was like, terrifying, and we were locked in a room, and half of the other group wasn't in the room with us, so like, yeah, that was scary, um, so that was a close call. And then we almost fought a mini beholder, like a small beholder. Uh, our, our DM told us that's called a spectator. I didn't know, I didn't know that. I just call it baby beholder usually. Um, and yeah, uh, we, we almost fought one. Um, but then luckily like our monk had a dispel magic and just like dispel magic on it and it disappeared and like, oh, so clutch, so clutch. Um, yeah a lot of good moments in that session uh learned a lot more about the background of my character which is like really dope and super interesting so i'm excited for the future and we got like a bunch of magical items as well so yeah this was like a good good freaking session i'm so excited this was a, this was a long one this was a four hour session so which I, I feel like is usually like the most most sessions go like usually four hours at most but yeah that was something that was something um, while I was having the D&D session, I was trying to get into uh, Walid's um, uh, Zoom Q&A uh, uh, situation, but sadly, I wasn't able to make it into the call. Um, I kept trying though throughout the hour of that of that uh, Q&A, but I couldn't get in. So that's that's a bummer, but uh, it's okay. It's okay. Um, I'll come back on Monday strong when the next session is. So yeah. Uh, I'm just going to eat some food real quick and then I'm going to do a Zoom call with one of my actress friends and help her out with some sides and yeah, we'll go from there. So after that, I'll probably just like, I feel like I should take a nap because I only got two hours of sleep, but I'm kind of like high energy right now. So, and I probably will, probably will keep being high energy at, when I start doing my session with the, my actress friend. So, um, yeah, I'll probably just, uh take a, I'll probably just like start doing my taxes right away as soon as I finish up that session and then cook some steak for dinner, work out and then go to sleep. Like try to go to sleep early. So yeah, that's the plan. Cool. All right, y'all. Uh, peace. Oh, I also gotta edit my video. So <laughs> yeah, we'll be doing that too. All right, y'all. Peace. Yo, uh, I'm about to call my friend to let her know I'm ready, but uh, I'm just gonna wash this dishes real quick. <sighs> but um, I just watched a video on uh, how to be a good reader. So the reader is usually the reading partner for the person auditioning. Um, and yeah, uh, main takeaways, since I'm not there physically in person, uh, most of them were like physical things to do. Um, I do need to make sure I speak clearly, so make sure I get the lines across. Uh, but the big thing is to underplay or mute uh, myself. So it's okay to play with emotion, but just don't do it how you would actually do it if you were acting. You gotta make sure it's dimmed down 
so that but it's dimmed down so that it doesn't over uh, overtake the auditioner but also I want to give a little bit of something so that they can react off of it you know and justify the means for what they're saying what for, for why they're saying their lines so that's gonna be tricky to play with because uh, I'm very like all-in type of emotion guy when I act so I need to dim it down but this is gonna be good practice honestly for like later on because like I said I'm all in when I act, when I act in terms of emotions so when it comes to scenes where like I don't need to be emotional I feel like I have a little bit more trouble in those scenes so this will help out with me being able to control my emotions and control levels so yeah um, that'll be interesting to play with. So I'm excited. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna wash these dishes and then head up and start doing that. Peace, y'all. Yo, I'm re-recording this because for some, uh, I guess like my memory filled up on my phone and yeah, uh, the video cut short. So let me just make sure. Okay, cool, it's recording. Um, yeah, so uh, finished up with my uh, recording session with my actress friend and yeah, it went surprisingly... Well, I didn't just finish up. I, it's 7 o'clock now, and we finished around like 5.30. But we actually really finished at like 4.45 and spent like 45 minutes just like talking and breaking stuff down and, you know, talking about like... Um, just like things about uh, like portrayal and acting and stuff like that. So um, it was cool. Um, I learned a little bit more about each other as well. Uh, but it only, it honestly took us like 30 to 45 minutes to just like, to finish it up. And that was like really surprising for both of us. Uh, we did three takes and that was it. And the third take was the one and we both knew it. Like we both knew that the third take was the one. It was crazy. Um, and both of us had thought that it was going to take like at least 20 takes. Um, and like I, I, I blocked off the time from four to six o'clock uh, to do that. Or I, I blocked off two hours of time to do it. So if we start at three, then five o'clock. But I blocked off two hours of time to do it because I was like, at, at the least, it will take two hours, you know? Um, but yeah, that was like mad surprising. Um, and she is an amazing actress, like seriously. And, but we were both surprised about how quickly we were able to get that done. And I think part of it is like when you have two... Uh, people, two actors who's like, uh, who are both willing to um, adapt and look at f immediate feedback and try to adjust and, you know, uh, be very open to that. Uh, I feel like that makes for so much improvement in such a quick amount of time. Because, um, yeah, when we were breaking down the takes from the first take to the second take, and then the third take, uh, we would talk about it after each recording and see what we liked and then what we wanted to change. Um, yeah, and she, like, it was just really, really dope to get it down so quick. Also, like, the role that she that she asked me to, to read for, um, for her, was, like, a role that I'm not going to say because I don't know privacy type of thing. Um, and I'm not going to say her name either because privacy, unless she wants, you know, she's okay with it, but I didn't ask her. Uh, so I'm going to keep that private. But, um, yeah, like, <clears throat> the role that she asked me to read for, it's a role that I'm not familiar with. I'm not used to. Um, it's something that I can't see myself playing right now, you know, because it's something, first of all, I've never experienced. And second of all, I just don't know what it's like to be, to be in that position, you know? Um, and so it was, ha I was, when I was rehearsing it last night, I was having a hard time trying to connect and trying to really understand um, just because I'm not used to that type of situation. Um, but she is such a great actress that like after the first take, I like realized and understood the script, you know? And that was like amazing to be a part of because like, yeah, I, I really felt like she really represented what, what her role was and it made me understand what I needed to represent, you know? And I was able to adjust like really quickly, uh, after the first take and then to the second take um yeah and it just like started to click more and it became more fluent and honestly like compared to like how i rehearsed it when i rehearsed it it was super stiff you know and very like seemed to rehearsed uh and when i i felt like when i was reading them with her i felt like it was like a real conversation real dialogue like um i actually felt like i was that character which is crazy um 
Yeah, and I was having such a trouble, like, you know, imagining that before. But when you have such a great actress, like, on the opposite side of you, it makes it so much easier. Or a great actor on the opposite side of you, it just makes it so easy to react if you're listening, you know? And, yeah, that was, like, really, really dope. Um, so, yeah, that was amazing. And she, she told me that she appreciated uh, uh, me reading because she said that, I was giving her good like reaction points to um you know to respond to so i i appreciate that too that she told me that um because that was that was something that i was really trying to make sure i could do make sure i can provide a good opposing character to her in the scene um but also not to try and outshine so i, I was trying to play with the with the levels of like how i would how i was gonna act but i feel like allowing me like me trying to play with the levels and adjust um really challenged me and it really made me understand like how to make something a little bit more real and that was like such a great thing to go through mentally um yeah so amazing 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 um yeah we were both surprised it took three takes like seriously um but happy that it did you know because yeah, I mean, it's better to get it done, can you know, in a concise manner. But also the thing is, like, we it's not that we rushed it, but we were both really happy with the end product of the third one. So, yeah, we we, we, we rewatched it together and we were both like after after um we finished, I told her I was like, yo, that was amazing. Like you embodied that role. Like I told her immediately. And then uh, she was she was like she, she she told me she felt it, you know, she felt it, too. And then when we rewatched it. We both like were like, nah, definitely, definitely. So I wish her the best of luck in that audition because yeah, and I'm really happy that she asked me to be a part of, be a part of it too, um, because it was a great learning experience for me as well. So the more experience I can get, no matter what it is, I'm so open to it. So even if it's reading, you know, being being the reader in a scene, like I'm totally down for that because I can practice myself as well. So yeah. Uh, anybody, if you're looking for a reading partner for your, you know, for your scene, let me know. I'm open to it. Um, yeah, I'm down to uh, help you out. Uh, and it gives me more opportunities to practice. So, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was like really dope. And I felt like, eh, it just felt so good to like do, do a day turnaround on that, you know? Um, because like I got the sides last night and I was working through them last night and still didn't get it. But then today when I worked with her, it was just like, got it, you know, got it for sure. And it's so different acting with somebody else than acting, like doing a monologue because like the response, like seeing another person and seeing them respond actively is just like, it's such a good way if you're really paying attention to just like react. And I just felt so natural uh, being across from her. So it was really dope, really, really dope. Um, so yeah uh uh yeah other than that basically uh let me check okay other than that um the reason why i was uh, i was uh why i'm like doing this so much later than when i finished the session was like i was on the phone with my with my mom and my brother and they were watching like the concert from the three networks um yeah broadcasted by the three networks three major networks so yeah and i was just talking to them while they were watching it uh and then I was just sending emails and uh, sending out texts. But yeah, it was, uh, it was nice. It felt like we were all in the same place again, which was dope. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take a quick nap. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take a quick like, 50 minute nap. And then I'm going to end up my video. I'm still like downloading the file. So yeah, I'm just going to take a nap while that downloads. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and edit the video then i'm gonna cook dinner and then uh work out tonight so uh today's a new workout so i'll be filming it not excited for it it seems like it's gonna hurt a lot so yeah but it is what it is so cool all right y'all uh i'm gonna take a nap peace all right y'all just finished editing my video and um yeah just waiting for it to in bed and render and stuff like that so this would probably take like 40 minutes whatever but um at least it's already doing this stuff so i don't have to worry about it later i'm gonna cook dinner in a little bit um i'm waiting for the rice to be ready i think 
So once the rice is ready, I'll cook the steak real quick. Um, but yeah, um, and then after that, I'm just gonna go ahead and work out. So yeah, all right, y'all. Uh, just wanted to give a little notification on that. And yeah, other than that, I don't really have anything else to say right now. Yeah, I took a nap, which felt nice. Uh, I, like I said yesterday, I was probably gonna take a nap after finishing up with all this stuff, and I did. I did before I edited my video. I took a nice little nap, so like a 30-minute nap. So, and I feel a lot better. So, yeah. All right, cool. All right, peace. Bummer. <laughs> Goddamn. Goddamn. Have a good steak today. I know, bro. I know. I'm so sad. We left the steak in the fridge, like stupidly, for like six days. And we thought it would be okay, because we didn't open the package. But when we opened that shit, that shit smelled rancid as fuck. So, we're gonna go ahead and buy some in and out Fuck okay. it. Good excuse. Good excuse to get fat. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, just when I'm starting to see my abs, two, two days of fast food in a row. <laughs> what up, y'all? Uh, cool, just finished up my workout. So this is the beginning of the third week of the second month. And we switched to a new workout. Um, yeah. Oh, well, a new, yeah, a new part of the workout. So uh, today was legs and abs. So I'm gonna break down the three sets. I didn't record it just because like, uh, I feel like I wanna show a proper form when I record this version, uh, record these workouts. Um, just so I can give a good representation of like what it is. So maybe the second or the third week, uh, yeah, I'll record it. Um, yeah, just maybe the third week. The third week I'll probably record this, uh, these workouts just so you can see what it looks like because I should have it down by then. Um, but right now I'm still like kind of getting the form down for it so that I can target the right muscles. So yeah, um, definitely like, uh, for some of the exercises, not doing them to the fullest potential. I'm still doing it where I'm targeting the right muscles, but I'm not doing it to the full potential. So, yeah. So I'm going to break down the three sets into three different angles. Okay? Or the three uh, circuits. The three circuits and the three different angles. So, this is the first set. So, we did four sets. Uh, this is the first, first circuit, and we did four sets of these. So the first set was uh, body weight reverse lunges, right? These things. Okay? Uh, and those were 20 reps on each leg and then right after that we jumped straight into the side to side lunges right and we did 10 reps on each leg right okay and then after that we just jumped down to mountain climbers and we did 20 reps on each leg so um, yeah and then we did four sets of that so yeah in between each set I took a one minute rest or in between each circuit I took a one minute rest so yeah and we did four four sets of that so or four circuits. Ah, oh, I'm confusing myself with the words. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. This is the first angle, or the third angle. I'm going backwards again just because I'm going to end up. up I'm going to end upstairs and then call. Uh, upload my video and call it night. So. Oh, I'm really freaking sweating. Oh god. All right. God, that stinks. Cool. Oh my god, that smells so bad. Oh shit. All right, y'all. This is first-ish angle or third angle, traditionally. Now I've done it. Yeah. Um, I feel like really thin, especially around my waist. I feel like really light, even when I just like twist around and move around. Like I feel really light around like my waist, which is nice. There's still like a good amount of fat here, but um, it's gone down significantly since the beginning, like for sure. 100%. Even on the sides, it's like I can feel like either muscle or bone on my sides. I don't know which one it is, but I can feel one of those. Um, and it's less fat I feel on my sides now, which is nice. So, yeah. Uh, and then I'm sure like by the end of this month, there's going to be like a major difference in my body from where I began to uh, like what would be two months ago, you know? So, yeah. I'm excited to see what's going to happen in the next two weeks. Yeah, um, cool. So that's the first angle, all right? I'll take you guys to the second angle now. Cool. Okay. All right, here's the second angle, y'all. Okay, cool. So now we're gonna talk about the second circuit that I did. So the second circuit consisted of, uh, we did 
20 reps of uh, body weight uh, body weight walking lunges with knee raises. So it's like you're like you're like boom, boom, lunge, boom. So it's like a lunge straight into like a high knee um, type of situation. Uh, yeah. So we did 20 reps on each side, so 40 total. And then after that, we did a low low Cossack lunge. So it's like you have your legs spread. And then you like go boom all the way down, all the way down. Um, and that's 15 reps on each side. And then we finished off with 15 reps of uh, side plank uh, hip raises uh, on each side. So 15 reps of the side plank hip raises on each side. And then uh, between each circuit, we took a one minute rest. So yeah, um, yeah. So that's the second, that's the second workout or second uh, circuit of this legs and abs day. So, cool. All right, I'll take you to the third angle now. Peace. Um, yeah, cool. <sighs> I still have yet to like look good in these like angles. It's always the downstairs angle where I always look the best, but the angle in my bathroom and then the angle in my closet are definitely rougher angles to look at for sure. Um, but I, like I said, I still feel the difference for sure. And I, like, I can see a difference too. Uh, I didn't eat healthy tonight, uh, obviously. And I didn't eat healthy the other night either. So, um, you know, I, I just need to buy some more groceries again. So, cause I kind of ran out. Uh, I think I have one more set of like pork left, but I have no vegetables to put in if I want to make sinigang. So I could make the adobo again, but that's also not healthy. So <laughs> we'll see. Um, what happens? Cool. Uh, so that's, uh, yeah. So for the last circuit, what we did was, um, this one was just, uh, this one was just a, a superset type of situation. So we did the pistol lunges, right? So we did, uh, 15, 15 pistol lunges on each leg. No, no, no. Sorry. Uh, so for the last superset, we did 10, 10 reps of pistol lunges on each leg. So pistol lunges is when like you're lifting one leg and then you go down on a squat. That one was like, is like ridiculously hard. I mean, a lot of these were hard for me, like the Cossack lunge, really hard for me still. I couldn't get all the way down uh, with that. So, uh, and then with the pistol squat too, it got easier after I did more reps. <laughs> but even then for me to get all the way down to do like a low rep, was like maybe like one or two um out of all like all of like the four sets i did and then so yeah sorry so we did uh 10 uh pistol squats on each leg and then jumped straight into 15 reverse crunches and i took a one minute rest so yeah that's all i did for for that last um circuit and then after we finished that up we did a hit exercise and this hit exercise was uh the same one that i've done to substitute the sprints uh and so for this hit exercise we did um uh was it 20 uh, switch jump lunges uh and then took a 20 second break and then you know did another 20 so a 10 on each leg so 20 total um and we did that for 15 minutes so that was the hit exercise i did and then finished off. Um, I, I might switch that hit exercise now that I'm like more used to it, but we'll see. Because um, a lot of the other hit exercises they require some sort of equipment. I don't have anything, so I might just stick with that unless I want to go outside and like be annoying and just do. Yeah, I don't really want to do that in the middle of the night. So if I did that, it would have to be in the middle of the day. Um, like do sprints and stuff like that so yeah and then for the so and we finished up after we did the legs and abs uh i switched over to my ab circuit uh and for my ab circuit what i did was one minute of floor taps uh 30 second break and i did one minute of a general plank 30 second uh, break and then finished up with one minute of a weighted russian twist 30 second break and then we did two sets so that's it that's it y'all that's uh, the workout for today. So yeah, I broke it down into three angles. So yeah, if you wanna try it out, try it out for yourself. 
look up how to do the exercises uh, so you can do it in proper form. Because if you do it in proper form, they freaking suck. So, yeah. Um, cool. Okay, y'all. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower, and then by the time I finish taking a shower, my video should be uh, uploaded already. So, cool. Alright, y'all. Peace. I'm bummed. I should have checked on this earlier. That was my own irresponsible action. Um, but, yeah. I went upstairs to go check. Uh, well, after I did my body check, uh, I just turned over to my computer so I could um, start uploading my video onto YouTube. And it turns out that the render failed. Uh, and yeah, so I'm re-rendering it now and hopefully uh, we can get that done in like the next 30 minutes. And then I'll upload it real quick and then go to sleep. So yeah, uh, okay, cool. So I'll probably end up going to sleep tonight by like seven o'clock. Cool. So seven o'clock in the morning. I really need to fix my fucking schedule. So yeah, it's fun. All right, y'all. Peace. Up, y'all. Seven o'clock in the morning. Like I said, seven twenty-ish. But time to go to sleep. Wow. I'm so happy. I feel like the main reason was like I was just too caught up. Wait, The Walking Dead again. Fear The Walking Dead caused me to work out late because I couldn't stop watching. Um, you got it's that show has gotten like like that show is like fifty times more gruesome, I'd say, than uh, the original Walking Dead, and it's way darker. Like it's really fucking dark. Like I like it, man. I like. I don't think there was a se there's been a season so far. I I'm about to. I'm like finishing up the third season. But in the three seasons I've watched, there hasn't been a season where I didn't like it. Um, yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's a great series, though. Highly, highly recommend it. Um, yeah. Today was a decent day. Uh, yeah. I had a really, really good freaking D&D &D session. I was so pumped about that. Love that shit. Um, love D&D. One of my favorite activities to do, like, ever. Um, man. This story discovery is just freaking amazing. And like, I love our DM and the fact that he uh, links, you know, he links the story that he's created to our backgrounds and, you know, brings our stories that we created, um, brings it all into the loop. And like, oh, I freaking love it, man. It's so great. Um, yeah. Uh, learning a lot about my family. Um, Cause I wrote, some stuff about my family and my background but like n i didn't go super far into the details of it and like he he's like taking it and man i'm so interested to to learn about my family um yeah because that's part of like the reason why my character left um like the comfort of his nobility to learn more about his family you know um so it kind of works together with like me actually getting excited about finding this information because of the background I set up. It's like the character would probably get excited to find information, you know? It's like all he's been, it's it's why he set out in his journey to find information about his family, to learn who they are, you know? So that he can try and become closer to them. Um, so that was like, oh man, just learning so much. I'm so, I'm so pumped. Um, yeah, so. That was the that was dope. And then afterwards, uh, helped out my friend with her uh, with her uh, audition um, by being her reader. And like, oh, that went amazingly well. So that was really good too. You know, um, I was so pumped for that. Like, I was so happy for her. She's such a great talent. The fact that we only got it down in like three attempts, like that's crazy. Um, so that was great. Uh, what else did I do? Um, sadly the steak went bad that I was planning on cooking tonight, so that's a bummer. Um, so that's something that didn't go too well today. Yo, it smelled rancid as fuck, like it smelled so bad. I wanted to throw up looking at it. Um, yeah. Uh, so me and JV ended up just getting in and out. Whatever. Uh, and then we watched Money Heist, which that show is great. I freaking love it. Um, and people have been talking about it and that's why we started watching it and like, yo, it's a really good show. Highly recommend it. Um, yeah, and then it just worked out. So, 
that was uh, what I did today. I worked on my taxes a little bit, but didn't get to finish all of them because uh, I have a lot of stuff to file uh, for doing like 1099 work. So yeah, uh, but I guess sorry about it. Hopefully I can finish it up. Uh, I want to finish it up this weekend. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, cool. All right, y'all. Uh, yeah, that's it for this one, y'all. Um, thank you guys for watching. I uh, love you guys, and good night. Peace.